Hello, hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for being with me. Missy Rivers with you, a uh, psychic medium. So guys, we're going to do a video today on the cards that you have selected. So I put up four cards for myself on my YouTube, my Instagram and my Facebook. So if you haven't gone to see them, please do so. Look at what you're drawn to and then you can come back to this video and see what meanings are for you. So guys, and thank you so much for being with me and subscribing, liking and sharing my videos and being on my channel i have been away for a little while and i'm back and we're ready to roll with so many new videos for this year so let's go if you have chosen number one okay guys if you have chosen card number one this is very important right now so what do you desire what do you desire this is really important when it comes to especially this the first six months of this year, 2022, holds a very strong propensity to push you into asking what is it you want in your life, personally, professionally, financially, uh, you know, in your in yourself, deep within your soul. What is it that you want? What is it that you desire? And how can you get it? This is really big. I'm going to read this to you. So, what is it? Do you, what is it that you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script. How empowering is that? According to your heart's true desires, once you clearly decide upon your true desires, you now are ready to and are deserving of them. So that's a big thing too, looking at limiting beliefs and looking about releasing old habits. Anything that is no longer there for you is huge. Release that. Think about what it is you do want and move forward with your desires. But you must do the first step, which is ask the question first. What do you want? And then take the rest of the journey. That is card number one. Guys, for those of you beautiful people who chose card number two, it is time for a creative outlet. Really important there. Creative project there for you guys. It's very important, especially again, this time, um, this day and age, where we have so many things keeping us busy. We have emails, we have YouTube, we have Facebook, we have so many things coming in our life. We have so much overstimulation. We can forget about the little things in life and the little things are being playful and being childish and finding the joy in the simple things, okay? Playing hide and seek with your children or going for a treasure hunt with your friends or making a sand castle, uh, doing the finger painting. There's so many different ways to do that and connect with yourself or even if it's a creative project and expression of who you are with maybe some creative writing. Whatever it is right fit for you is perfect, but you must allow yourself to have time to have a creative project and have a creative outlet and expression, okay? Very important for soul. We are humans. We like to create. We like to express. We like to be silly. It's good for every part of us, our mental, our emotional, our spiritual, our physical. Very important, okay? It engages the left and right hemispheres of the brain. It's just fantastic. So those of you who chose number two, that's very important for you. Those of you who chose card number three, time to release and surrender. What more can I say? We are moving into a time in humanity and on the timelines of the uh, global scale that we're really being forced to look at what is important to us and what is not and what is going for us in our life. You know, people, situations, um, friends, family members, there is physical things, there is, you know, electronic things. There is so many situations in our life that cost possibly be too much overwhelming. And now it's time to release and surrender what is not working for you. So this is very important. If you are drawn to card number one and three, if they happen to couple together, they are really powerful together, guys, releasing and surrendering and then asking yourself what it is you want to do in moving forward. But if you're just being asked to release and surrender, it is time to cut the fat, trim the fat in your life that you no longer need, moving forward, lighten your load, and then you'll find your new path more successful as a result of that trimming of the fat, okay? Trimming the fat physically as well. <laughs> All right, guys, and those of you who chose card number four, we have beautiful, steady progress. This is a beautiful, reassuring card. This is reassuring you to let you know that everything that you're doing right now is happening perfectly in divine timing, the way it needs to happen. It may not be happening overnight or as fast as what you'd like it to happen. There is a sense of um, feeling frustrated or a sense of feeling impatient for what you want because you want it so bad. I understand that. But when steady progress shows up, this is about giving you that guidance and that support saying, you know what, you have done all the hard work, but, you know, beans don't grow over enough. You know, you have to wait. Rome wasn't built in a day. You have to wait. You know, steady progress is happening step by step, one foot in front of the other. 
<coughs> sorry, um, we acknowledge that the process that you are making, the progress that you are making, please forgive me, um, that you are making, very important. Guys, I have had a head injury um, of late, so sometimes, uh, yeah, words escape me. I do apologise. So uh, progress. Um, we acknowledge you for the progress that you've made in remembering your daily activities. So daily activities all accumulate really well and moving forward, you're headed in the right direction. Good job if you did choose number four because you're halfway there. Lots of love to you guys. I will be aiming to do more videos for you next month and getting some out there for you. I've missed you all so very much. Please comment, like, and share and subscribe. And I will be with you shortly for new videos. Let me know if you have any requests. Sending love from my heart chakra to yours. I am Missy Rivers, your psychic medium. If you need me for private readings, I am now open for new appointments at missyrivers.com. Good luck. Bye.